Welcome back to Mountaineers on the Mic. I am the option Ben Bonzik here with captain of the boys cross country team Hayden Pierce, also my teammate. Hayden, it's great to finally have you on here. Um, so obviously it's a big weekend for cross country coming up, but before we get into that, I want you to give us a recap of the season so far. It's been going on for a few months now. Um, do you feel the boys team has collectively overperformed, underperformed? How satisfied are you with the performances this year? I think the boys team has done very well this year. Uh, going Leaving out of last season, uh, a lot of people thought that we weren't going to do well this season. Uh, a lot of our seniors, our team was seniors, uh, a lot of the talent was graduating, and there wasn't much hope for this year, but then we got a lot of new new teammates. A lot of people stepped it up, including, uh, including you, Sticky, uh, uh, me, and me, myself, uh, Max, Max Sutella, and Dan Brigham, a lot of the seniors, and uh, everybody just uh, surprised surprised uh, the whole team. Just like, get, and gave a great performance all season. We, we came closer, uh, closer to a lot of teams than we thought we would, and it's been a great year. It definitely has been a great year. It's been a lot of fun as well. Speaking of fun, this past weekend, we went down to Cape Cod for the Twilight Invitational meet. Why is this an exciting race for us, or one of the best ones of the year, and how did it go um, overall? Uh, Twilight's a, fa a fast course. It's always uh, a fun race. It uh, takes place later in the night. Uh, it's, uh, in the past years, it's, last year they changed the course due to construction. It was uh, a, little, a little slower than normal. A lot of people tripping over each other. They, they fixed a lot, of the, a lot of the problems, though, this year with paving the paving the bottleneck at the start and all of that. So it was way better this year than last year. It was another fast course at lots of PRs. I think almost everybody in the in the varsity uh, in the varsity meet uh, race did uh, had a PR and it was just great performances from everybody. Definitely was it was a fun night uh, there at Twilight. Now, overall in the season, a lot of the success for the boys team has come from the use of pack running. Now, for someone that might not be familiar with that term, what is it and how have you used it this year? Uh, cross country is a team sport. Every, it seems like it would be an individual thing, but uh, lots of people uh, don't realize that, that it's scored by, by how well you run together. So if you need to stick with your teammates, use them and just try and uh, pick off pick off as many people as you can when while you're running like uh, we you and, and Nick have been sticking together as an example and building off of each other and we have been using each other to uh, push forward and and try and uh, and uh, get faster yeah definitely definitely no. I understand uh, our main varsity group, it's not just seniors, um, like it is with a lot of teams, it's mixed with kids, all grades. Do you feel this is an advantage or disadvantage to be getting sort of runners from all different age groups uh, here at the high school? Um, I think it's an advantage because uh, the the younger kids can look up to the seniors and the uh, higher higher up people, uh, upperclassmen at the school. The uh, They get a lot, like I remember back to my freshman year, uh, seeing the seniors and I, I, my senior year, I've uh, based a lot of what I'm doing off of what uh, what I saw from them, and it was it's just a big inspiration for the uh, for the younger kids. Uh, we're we're role models, and we're uh, impacting how well how well they'll they're, they'll perform for the rest of their careers. Yeah, definitely. And we talked a lot about the team and stuff. What about you personally? How do you how was how do you feel? Um, going from your freshman year, now seeing yourself in senior year, how has your improvement been over the four years? Are you proud of how you've done this year? Um, talk a little bit more on a personal level as a runner this year. Um, in the, in the past, I uh, freshman and sophomore year, I uh, freshman year I was I like cross country, but then COVID hit. We had to run with masks. It was very tough. Uh, the because obviously the main component component of running is uh, breathing, so. So uh, sophomore year, I, I noticed myself not improving that much. It was hard mentally. And then uh, at the end of the year, uh, Coach Wallace announced that he was retiring. And that was, 
office and he talked to me and said that he saw saw um, potential in me, but I needed to needed to uh, uh, work hard for it. And over the summer, I uh, I got my act together. And last year and this year, I've made major improvements. I just got a, a PR at Twilight of eighteen twelve. So that's I'm looking looking to shave that down even more in the coming coming week. Yeah, definitely that in this coming week is very important. It would be a great time to PR. That is because the league championship is coming up this Saturday. Um, talk, this is the last question here, but I just want you to talk about um, the teams that will be competing there and what you feel the boys' team's chances are uh, this Saturday in Lunenburg. Yeah, the Lunenburg is, a, from what it looks like, a good course. It's a new course uh, because last year the Hollis Hills course is no more. Uh, where it will be new to everybody. Um, and I think that that puts everybody at an even playing field. We got a lot of uh, good competition, including Shrewsbury. Uh, they've been our, our top rival at the moment. And I think that we have a good chance at, uh, at scoring pretty high up there. Yeah, and hopefully um, it shakes out our way this Saturday. But I do have, I said last question, I got one non-running related question. I do know, just like me, you are a Star Wars nerd. Um, my question for you today is, do you know the name of Boba Fett's ship? Uh, it would be the Slave One. Wow, big nerd right here, also a great runner. Yoda, Hayden, thank you for being here. Best of luck in postseason, and I'll right. see you at practice in like 20 minutes. Thank you.